we see this, you know, leaders and politicians and the mayor, and you know, and it's kind of like a non-stop cycle of making declarations and denunciations, and then as soon as the cameras are gone, we wait for the next, you know, kid to be shot. And so there is the disconnect. You know, the, the kids feel, you know, really, you know, that they're being paid lip service, you know, and really that a lot of the so-called town hall meetings and community public forums and so on and so forth do not include the voices of young people. There are no kids talking in these meetings. You know, and the kids that go to to um, to talk in city council are handpicked by the you know social services agencies. So what we get here, you know, is is the raw deal. You know, is the kids with their grievances, with their feelings, their emotions. You know, they're bitching, they're screaming, their ang you know their anger, their 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 laughter, their tenderness, because that's that's the other thing. You know that. We tend to think of our young people as these violent beasts, you know, when in reality there's just a tremendous sense of beauty and, and, and caring. I mean, I, I'm amazed, you know, and, 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 and so touched, you know, every time that I come here because of how much they care about each other. 